Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome to your weekly general taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, these readings are for all of us. They are for the general trends and energies and themes for the week ahead. All of this, of course, is infused, informed and imbued with my intuitive message. So every week when I do these, before I start the video, I will go into my intuition and I will ask for an intuitive message that comes through that kind of gives you that little tidbit of information um, to almost like to centralize this, but also as a building theme as it takes us forward uh, over the weeks, right? So this week, our uh, intuitive message was like literally what I saw was myself in my mind and I was like absolutely going hams and I was like sweating and like really working very hard on something and that was the message, right? This week it's time for us to knuckle down whatever it is that you're working on, whatever it is that you're working towards, this is a week for hard work. This is the week for you to roll up your sleeves, to get stuck in and to do the work. Whatever that means to you, wherever it is that that needs to be applied, this is a week for us all in some way, shape or form to knuckle down and get the bleep to it. All right, so for our destiny card for the week ahead from the human design oracle deck let's see what's going on here we have oh okay there you go jump straight out We've got the gate 36 and greener grass. For those of you that are planning to stop working on something because it hasn't yielded any results, uh, this week, the grass ain't greener. That's what this message is about now. For um, this card and this particular type of energy showed up a lot in 2020 and 2021. Um, and what it basically, what we saw then was, you know, the great resignation, people just walking out of their jobs left and right because they weren't satisfied with the conditions, etc. For the first time in history, it is an employee's market where they're able to demand more of what they want, more pay, better hours, fairer treatment, whatever it might be. This card showing up as our destiny card coupled with that intuitive message, right? You are being encouraged to work at it. Where it is that you think, you know what, I'm going to give up because I'm not getting what I want. This week, that is not the way to go about it. Wherever it is that you're thinking, you know what, I just haven't seen the results yet. This is where you knuckle down and you work harder. This is where you get smarter. It's where you build even further on whatever it is that's going on in your life at the moment. And the reason being is because there's two things. One, the universe is laying down a gauntlet to ask you. You know, you're saying you've worked hard, but have you... Really though, I'm not, maybe you have, right? But this gate 36 and greener grass card basically says that the grass isn't always greener. This is one of those moments where actually sticking it out where you're at is where you get the most reward. It's time to really knuckle down, work hard, get into that graft, okay? Now, for our uh, uh, direction cards, how do we best tap into this energy? Or how do we, you know, how do we utilize our staying power? How do we tap into our stick as they say? Oh, okay, so we've got a jumping card there. And the jumping card is, if you don't stay put, it's the Knight of Cups, right? If you don't stay put, you're not going to get what's been promised to you. And this isn't a threat. It's not a, well, you know, you have to do as you're told. This is, I'll give you an example, right? At the time, uh, when I was coming to the very, very close to the end of my working my last ever sort of full-time job as an employee, I was really fighting with myself about leaving, right? I'd been offered two jobs previously that were actually pretty good fits for me. And, you know, I think I probably would have done well and maybe really enjoyed them or not, as the case may be, who knows, right? Uh, on top of that, I had tried to leave, but and one of the times my boss said to me, no, we're not going to let you go. And the other time, like, I really wanted to leave, but I actually couldn't at that point because of where everything was in my life behind the scenes, as it were. And I'll never forget, right, because in staying at that job, I met somebody who really helped me with my YouTube journey in ways that will forever be you know like i genuinely believe in my heart and soul i was meant to meet this person and if i'd left prior to this i never would have known the stuff that i knew at that point once he'd given me certain information and this is why i say to you right this is one of those times if you don't stay put 
This is, you know, when you see the meme of like the person that gives up the digging and they're like this close to getting the diamonds out of the ground. This is one of those times you will kick yourself if you walk now. Knuckle down, work a bit harder and stay in it. Your blessings are coming. All right, you've got the three of swords. You will part ways with whatever it is that you has not given. But before you do, there's one exquisite piece of goodness for it to give you. You got the strength card, right? So you got to have the courage and the heart to delay your gratification. That three of swords with the strength card does suggest that this is about, it's a need this week to school your emotions, right? It's a, stop recording Siri, mind your business. Um, it's a need for you to school your emotions and to remove the distractions, whatever or whoever it is that makes you emotional in the situation that you're in, that makes you wanna move, that makes you wanna jump ship, that makes you wanna quit before you've really got to where you want or need to be. Eliminate that person, eliminate that connection. Don't eliminate the thing that is feeding you at this moment in time if it is a job, right? Get rid of the distraction, the issue, the challenge, whatever. Knuckle down. And the way to do that is by knuckling down. If you put your blinkers on and you just get on with the work and you ignore all the bullshit that's happening around the water cooler, ain't nothing or no one can deter you from getting what you're here to get. Get yours, okay? Get your head in the game, knuckle down. For our insight cards, what's happening around the corners that we might need to be aware of at this moment in time? What is it that we maybe need to see coming or what is it that we need to really... <laughs> I love tarot. See what I mean? Ten of Pentacles, right? So your blessings are on their way. Material blessings are on their way. Potentially through a new job or being headhunted in some way, shape or form. With the Two of Wands. The money that you need. The prosperity that you've been praying for. The work that you are doing is building up your bag right? It's building your money. It's about to build your connections. For some of you, you're getting headhunted. For others, this is just a new opportunity that shows up that you will have to drive at, that you will have to be available for. And that can't get to you. The vehicle to getting you to all of these blessings, as is heralded here, is this situation, this thing that you say you want out of, that you want to leave, I'm going to quit, fuck them, you know, whatever it might be. The vehicle to getting you to where you truly want to be, which is just around the corner it appears, right, is literally to stay in this thing and to work a little bit harder. And this isn't to say that you haven't worked hard up until now. This is to say that those last exquisite reps in the gym, if you've ever, ever done a workout, if you've ever had a personal trainer, they'll all tell you the same thing. Those ones where it really fucking hurts and you're like, I can't do anymore. The reason they shout at you and push you to get one more is because that one more does a lot more than the first three reps that you do, right? And this is why I'm saying to you, like you're obviously at the end of some journey here. And if you don't stick it out until the end, you're going to miss what you've been working for. You're going to miss whatever it is that you have been promised through your hard work. Sometimes it doesn't show up in the time frame that we want it or we expect it to, but it does show up. And in order for it to make its way to you, you got to sit fucking still. All right. So grit your teeth, grin and bear it, knuckle down, get to work and do what needs to be done. Once you've done it, you will see. I mean, it's only going to be, what, I give it a month and you are going to see turnarounds in ways that you probably didn't even think were possible. All right, so on the wider world stage, here this does suggest that um, there's, it feels to me like two, business, two very prominent business partners are, or maybe companies, etc., are about to part ways. I wouldn't be surprised if it was a big celebrity couple. I do have one in mind. Um, and I feel like this is, I feel like it might send a few ripples in all kinds of directions. Uh, that's one way it could show up. It could also be that two people that run a very successful company end up having some very public spat and decide to kind of part ways or go their, their separate ways. <clears throat> Excuse me. In terms of the insight cards on the wider world stage, this is the start of more equality. 
I think this is something to do with, I don't know what's happening with Jupiter this week because I haven't had time to check, but I wonder if there's some kind of integrity focus around money finances, around the housing sector. I think it's gonna make a lot of the people on the bottom rung very happy. With that said, I wish you all an abundance of all of that good stuff. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up for you personally. For those of you that share articles and links and stuff about what shows up on the wider world stage in regards to what we see in the cards, I love it when you do that because it's absolute validation for the work, right? With that said, take care and I'll see you soon.